Hello guys, how are you all doing? It's Colin Vale from Alternative. I hope you're doing great. Today, Dean Smith has been sacked by Aston Villa and it wasn't really a surprise. This was his fifth straight loss in a row. It was on Friday and it wasn't a very good performance. We grew into the game a lot second half. We got into it a little bit. Buendia um, had a much better game in the second half. Cameron Archer um, nearly probably getting us a goal when he was clean for on goal and then got caught up by Salisu, I think it was. And we didn't really create a fat lot. Neither did um, Southampton really in the second half. But the first half they battered us. And it just has to not keep happening. So Dean Smith is gone. They've probably nipped it in the bud now, so to speak. Because if he would have carried on, I think a lot of people would have probably turned on him. And I know some people have already turned on him. It was a little bit hostile at Southampton. But a lot of people think thought he deserved more time. And yeah, he's been at the club for now. This is his third season managing Villa. He came in for Steve Bruce. And yeah, I think we probably wouldn't be in the Premier League right now if it wasn't for him. Obviously, we won 10 games in a row. And some people are saying Jack Grealish got us to the Premier League. But um, yeah, I remember that January spell was so bad when he first managed the club. So, yeah, um, there's a lot of arguments to say it was Jack Grealish, a lot of arguments to say it was Dean Smith. Personally, I don't care who we have as manager as long as we do well. And Frank Lampard has um, is a one-on-one -on -one chance, I believe, on Sky Sports of being manager. I don't know where the fuck that came from. But um, Conte now has gone to Tottenham, I believe, or he's about to head there. And also, um, Eddie Howe looks like he's going to be potentially... Um, going to Newcastle now. I do apologise for this, guys. My arm's really hurting holding this camera like this. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Hopefully, in the next um, week or so, we'd see um, who will be our manager and who will be the favourite. Obviously, that um, Fonseca, I don't have a clue who he is, personally. I think some, some fans have just thrown together some, like, really, like shitty names in there you know like on facebook where you see like i don't know R roberto martinez and all these guys like you, you know like it's it's quite desperate it's, there's a lot of desperation from villa fans really because they kind of over exaggerate and yeah i think i think this is probably the right move on villa's behalf because now we've got an international break we've got uh, another week to get someone in if it was obviously um Obviously, next week when he got sacked, we wouldn't have any time to bring anybody in. We'd maybe have an assistant manager coming in. And yeah, if he would have continued managing Aston Villa um, a little a little bit longer, I think it would have turned just a little bit more hostile. Because let's face it right, Brighton are a very good side. Palace have beaten Wolves. They've also beaten Man City. They beat Man City last week, didn't they? So yeah, I think if he would have stayed a little bit longer with the, with the tactic he's been using... I think he probably would have, well, not deserved some slack, but you know, just just that just that hostile um, environment um, as a Villa fan isn't very nice to see. There was a lot of um, Villa fans calling for Smith out. There was a lot of Villa fans fighting against one another, and it was just not a good time to be a Villa fan, really. And to see Southampton batter us, a team that we should be beating. Because let's face it, we've had not a not a bad not a bad run at the start of the season, and all of a sudden since the Wolves game, we've just slowly declined. Five straight defeats in a row isn't very good, and yeah, I, I'm really um, quite happy that Dean Smith's gone. I love Dean Smith; he's been there three seasons now, and I think I believe he has been the longest serving manager for Villa in in about the, the last five years because we've always seemed to sack. One and one manager after the other, sack after sack after stack after stack. Wow, great English! You know, with um, Steve Bruce going, Dean Matteo going in the space of a season. Um, obviously, so yeah, we had Remy Gard, we had a handful of managers, Paul Lambert, who, who lasted two seasons, Tim Sherwood lasting um, a season, maybe even a little bit less than that. So it's nice to see a manager come in, do so well with us. And just give us that little bit of hope and that little bit of some sustainability. We, and we've great owners. I do think we can do great things if we do get the right manager in. Who would you like to see as Villa manager? Let me know down in the comments below. 
I don't think we're in a relegation fight just yet. I know the table says otherwise, but we are only, I believe, five points off Tottenham or something like that. So, by the way, this season is not over yet by a long run. We could easily turn this around if we do get the right person and if we do get the right tactics in. And I'm not going to lie, Dean Smith's tactics at Southampton wasn't that bad at all. He made great substitutions, but I think that was just a little bit of a desperation move to keep his job at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, guys, what's your guys' thoughts on Dean Smith leaving Villa? Let them know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Up the Villa and take care. Take care, guys.